Hey, Brian, it's Terry Bull. Um, I was talking to Slash. He told me what's up. He said you could really use some prayers, some positive vibes, uh, bear hugs, cyber hugs, whatever we have. Brother, you know me. I'm going to slip you a foreign object, and we're going to beat this thing. So I need you to keep fighting, keep kicking, and we go way back. Your family's always been good to me. You're some of the good people in pro wrestling, so I know you've got it in you. A lot of the boys here in Louisville, we owe you a lot. Setting up the ring, not charging us to work out. My son came up there, practiced, and now he's in the business. Uh, he was going to send a video too. I don't know if it's gotten to Slash yet or not. Brother, I am thinking of you. Brian, let's beat this thing. Hey, Brian. Just want to jump on here and say hello. I miss you. And thank you for being in my life and giving me the opportunity at becoming a pro wrestler. It's hard to believe that it's been 18, almost 18 years ago that I walked into that building on 7th Street with skills and got my ass handed to me for over 30 minutes. And then y'all picked me up off the ground, patted me on the shoulder, said, kid, you got a lot of heart. I appreciate appreciated that more than you ever know and I also appreciated the fact that even though I didn't have money for training you let me work it off by cleaning the arena keeping the ring going in good shape all that good stuff I know you used to tell me the other day that you want to be remembered for your wrestling career and you hope that the fans never forget you. Well, brother, I don't think anybody's ever going to forget you. Especially not the fans when you're coming out wearing Spongebob pajamas. And coming out to the Spongebob theme song. I miss the nights that we hung out up there at the building just cutting up, laughing, having a good time. Those were some of the best moments of my life. So, just want to thank you, tell you how much I appreciate you, how much I love you. I'm praying for you, brother. I know you're going to pull through this. Hey, Brian, this is Chase. Um, I heard the sad news from Jay. I just wanted to let you know it was a pleasure meeting you and knowing you. Um, and thank you, everything that you taught me in the pro wrestling ring. Um, unfortunately, we was never ever the meet um, I wanted to introduce my family this is my wife Samantha hi and this is my son Dante and this is my daughter Kalia um, I wish I would have found a news sooner I would have definitely came down to Florida to visit you so hope you get this message and thank you for everything man hey Brian man hope all is good with you buddy praying for you praying for your family praying for your friends praying that you make it through this hard time. I think about y'all often, and I appreciate all the opportunities you all gave me. God bless you. Bye-bye. Hey, Brian, man. Um, good luck, man. I know you're going to beat this stuff because you beat the commission, and you beat the fire marshal, and you beat so much other shit to give us kids an opportunity to become the people that we were in the wrestling business. And we all owe a lot to you. And for that, we're... Um, we're sitting here praying for you, bro. Hey, Hellraiser. Brian Blade. You know, uh, you know, we're some of the first brothers I ever met in this business. You and your brother Jay tagging the Hellraiser. You used to beat the hell out of me and my brother every, every, almost every week we was on a show together. I don't know if you can see it. But right there, Brian, <laughs> I still have the scar. Nine stitches. Great memories. I uh, love you, brother. And, uh, I wish you all the well beans and uh, I wish I was there to, I wish I was there with you. Uh, uh, 
I love you, brother. And, uh, I love your whole family. Uh, uh, I want to uh, just thank you for all you did for me back in the beginning of my career. And, uh, I'll never forget you and or anything you ever taught me. And I have never forgot where I came from. That was the first thing you taught me. Uh, I love you and take care. Hey, Brian, it's Rob. Um, Jay told me what's going on, and he's putting together these little video packages for you. Um, so I wanted to create one. Um, you know, you got a lot going on, and just want you to know that I'm praying for you. So is my family. Um, cancer fucking sucks, um, to say the least. Too many people that have, have gone through it, myself included. And I feel friggin' feel for you, man. And I just want you to get better. And I say the, uh, the prayer is always the thing that can get you through but, you know, I just, I'm sorry that you're going through all this. And just been thinking back to all the times we had down at the old building, um, messing around out there until God knows when, loading rings up in, uh, through the second floor window with a forklift and me, Jay, and uh, uh, Kunta, and uh, Dirty Mike getting on stuff up there, building the stage, um, having the party uh, we had up there at uh, top of the roof that night. There, uh, things for your birthday. We're drinking and stuff, and you know, I'm also very thankful too for you. Um, you were there when my dad died. You and Jay both. I'm very appreciative of that. So, I just I hate to hear what you're going through, and I'm praying that you'll get better. So, uh, keep fighting. You're a fighter. You ain't a quitter. Known you way too long. So, kick that kick that cancer's ass. Be saying prayers for you, man. Love you, dude. Take care. Hey, Brian. What's going on, brother? It's your boy Skills. Uh, I just wanted to get on here and uh, let you know that uh, that I'm praying for you. My whole family is. Uh, it fucking sucks what you're going through. I've watched cancer destroy my whole family pretty much. And, uh, like everybody on here, he's already told you you're a fighter. And we can all see you fighting. You ain't gonna go quietly into the night. You ain't gonna go out without a fight. I seen you drive your happy ass all the way to Tennessee to get your ass some White Castles. Dude, that's awesome. Um, I love you, brother. There wouldn't be no crazy skills without Brian Blade and Big Daddy Slash and hell, the whole Walker family. Mom, Dad, Scott, everybody, man. There wouldn't be a lot of people in the business if it wasn't for you guys. I just want you to know how much you mean, not only to me, but to so many other people. I mean, we all are standing behind you, bro. We are all rooting for you. We're all praying for you, and we all love you. So take care of yourself. Keep fighting a good fight. Just remember, brother. Hellraisers for life, and these colors, they don't run. I love you, bro. Hey, bro. All right, so I've been waiting to do this video for you, and uh, as you can see, all the boys that I got, uh, all their videos and stuff, um, I want you to know. How fucking proud I am that you're my brother. You know, you look behind me, man, and that's where you, you help make my dream, my dreams come true. And that old building right there, <laughs> me and you walked into that building with fucking ten bucks between us, man. And you talked that guy into giving us a spot. 
you talked him into letting us do work and together me and you built a dream that everybody still talks about in Louisville all the guys that I've talked about that I've talked to always talk about how much 7th Street meant to them how much that building meant to them and there's no way that I could have ever done anything that I've ever done in that building without you 7th Street wouldn't have happened if it hadn't have been for you all those cold nights <laughs> moving walls and pulling nails out and you pulling nails out and me straightening them with a hammer so we could reuse them because we couldn't afford a box of nails but you could see the finished product bro you've always been like that you could see what it was going to look like when it was done and you were damn determined that we were going to finish and we did and we changed the landscape of professional wrestling in Kentucky that's something to be proud of man and I know that you always say you know they're not going to remember you but you don't have a clue how many boys that I've talked to and a lot of them couldn't do videos a lot of them physically couldn't get on camera and put videos but they've messaged me and I'm going to take some of those messages and I'm going to put in the video after this so you can see what they they said you know how it affected their life in such a positive way man and you've always done that bro and I'm just so proud I'm proud that I got to tag with you I'm proud that I got to go and wrestle all around the state and it, I'm proud. I'm very proud that we built something together that will will go down in history around here. You know, Vito said that we were the first family of Kentucky. We were the first wrestling family of Kentucky. Like, and that meant a lot to me, too. That, you know, that the boys still you know talk about us so highly and talk about you so highly and I just want you to know that I love you I want you to keep fighting and I just want you to know I'm fucking proud of you bro I'm proud that every day I get to get up and I get to call you my brother <laughs> 